What if I told you the ancient Greeks had a brilliant solution to a massive problem? Be before diving into the story, follow and share. Long before canals even existed, instead of sailing all the way around Greece, they dragged full-size ships times over land times on a stone-paved trackway called the Diolkos, a genius shortcut carved into the earth. But in 67 AD, Rome's most ambitious emperor, Nero, decided this wasn't enough. A man who believed he was a god wanted a god-level achievement, so he made a shocking decision. Cut Greece in half with a canal through the solid rock of the Corinthismus. With a golden pickaxe in hand, Nero himself broke the first piece of rock and ordered 6,000 prisoners to carve a path straight through a mountain of stone. But the dream collapsed fast. The rock was too hard, the tools too weak, and even Roman engineering met its match. When Nero died, the project died with him, instantly abandoned. A colossal, embarrassing failure. For almost 1,800 years, the half-dug Trent sat there like a scar, a reminder of one emperor's impossible dream, lying right next to the old Greek Diolkos. Then, finally, in 1893, with modern tools and dynamite, the impossible became possible. The Corinth Canal was completed at last.